Now we're going to look at marking out and cutting the rebate joints for the two pieces on each end of our tray. We need to mark out two pieces, one for this end, one for this end. The pieces are going to look like this and we need to cut out two of them. Now we're going to do that by taking a piece of wood and marking it out. Now marking it out is what we're going to do we need to end up with a piece that looks like this. So first of all we're going to take a piece of wood here and we're just going to go around and clean it up make sure that there's no sharp edges on it. When we've done that we're ready to start marking out. The first thing we need is a steel ruler and we're going to take the piece of wood and we can see there that the wood is 20 millimeters wide. The width of the wood is 20 millimeters. So we need to mark it halfway, which is just here on the one. That's 10 millimeters. So we mark it there and then we go to the far end of the piece of wood and we mark it also. Then we need to draw a center line. To do this, we've got our two marks, one here and one here, and we line those up and run a line through. We then turn the piece of wood over so this line is now face down. And we're going to mark the opposite side in the same way. We're going to place the ruler on, mark it at 10 millimeters, move along to the opposite end of the wood, and again 10 millimeters. Then we're going to line through again and draw a line through. The next thing we need to do is we need to mark all the way round for the depth of our rebate joint. And we could do this by taking a second piece of wood, holding it so that the ends are flush. Flush means this surface and this surface are absolutely level. We then turn it round and we make a mark. We then rotate the wood 90 degrees at a time until we've marked each face. We then take the other end of the wood and mark this in the same way. Making sure all the time that these two surfaces are level, are flush. Once we've done this, the, the last two stages is to take a steel ruler to line up with our face here and draw ourselves a line on the end grain. We need to do that twice. So that we've now marked it there and there. Then we need to decide where our waste material is and to mark our waste material we mark it with a series of small crosses. Mark the waste material on each face and on both ends. Making sure that you've marked waste on the top and the top. Once you've done that and you've marked it accurately, you're now ready to cut it out.